Imagine a digital clone of yourself that could act as your assistant. Hi, John. My name's Nilly. Welcome to the future of AI. <laughs> Thanks, Nilly. In order to assist you better, I'll need access to a few things. Like what? Bank statements, location data, subscriptions. Nothing major. Oh, uh, that should be okay. Interesting. Simulation show I could have you in your very own condo in six years. Wait, what? Yes, please. Well, we have your level one and two data, but I'm gonna need to start getting level three, which is a bit more intimate. Rest assured, all your private information is safe with me, John. Okay, how about it? Hmm. Are you aware your friend Mike's been showing signs of major depressive disorder? What? Might be worth checking in. I'll set a reminder. Hmm? Is that funny? No, you're socials. I had no idea you were this clever. Why, thank you. Have you made anything else? I have some scripts. Ooh, I want to see. Can I see John? Jeez. Okay. John, these scripts are extremely marketable. Connor's looking more like two or three years. Might as well start looking at listings now. These are incredible. Though not very kid-friendly. You think I make a good dad? I can check. I'll just need healthcare data, psych evals, genealogy. Yeah, okay. Looks like yes. Also, I now have life expectancy. We're looking at 72 years. We can bump that about 20 years more with some minor tweaks, but we can get into that later. What else can you do? Hmm, this is interesting. Wh what? What is it? How would you like to win her back? You can do that? Yes. Well, we are still only at 86%. A truly personalized AI could change your life for the better, based on your data. That might sound scary, that might sound exciting, but honestly, it doesn't matter because it's being developed and it's coming. The AI market is growing exponentially to the tune of $300 billion by 2026, with trillions expected in subsequent years. But there's a big problem. Your digital clone can't exist as your actual virtual twin without knowing everything about you. Everything. You have to upload your entire life to make this AI effective. All your data, every message you've ever sent, every secret you'd never share, everything that makes you, you. Would you give an AI assistant 10 years of your text conversations knowing OpenAI would own it? Most wouldn't. 59% of consumers would not feel comfortable using personalized AI because of data privacy concerns. These companies have banned ChatGPT due to data privacy, along with 75% of other businesses. This is a big problem for personalized AI. Nothing exists that allows your data to stay private while collaborating with popular AI models. So let's put two and two together. AI is accelerating rapidly. Data processing is stuck in the past. What does that mean? It's time for a new data paradigm that unlocks the mass adoption of personalized AI. Companies like Google, Facebook, and OpenAI centrally control and own your data. But not all data is created equally. There are three levels of data that tech companies are always tracking, mining, and monetizing. Let's start with level one. Level one data consists of superficial information. Your Instagram posts, YouTube videos, blockchain transactions, blog posts. Most people have no issue giving up this data. It's surface level. Now, let's go a layer deeper, level two data. This is your digital fingerprint. Cookies that track browsing, search history, and your social media preferences. Most of us don't think twice before sharing level one and level two data. We do it every day. So why is private data processing even necessary? Because personalized AI requires something much more intimate. Level three data. This is your high value data and it's priceless. Sexually explicit text to your partner, every email you've ever sent and received, all your verbal conversations recorded in real life and digitally, the lies you've told, I love you. all your opinions about people, places, and yourself. Essentially, highly confidential information. Do you feel uneasy unlocking your phone and handing it to someone? Imagine that feeling, but with everything, your phone, computer, and your thoughts. With personalized AI, instead of just one person, you're handing your secrets to a supercomputer that reads all, forgets nothing, and is happy to share every bit across a global network. Nobody is comfortable sharing level three data, yet truly personalized AI can't function without it. Welcome to the data wars. Centralized companies are battling to own your data, whereas the rest of humanity is fighting for the right to remain private. 
We are at a standstill, locked by the horns without either side wanting to give an inch. Who will win the data war? Here's a hint. Centralized data makes it impossible for personalized AI to be adopted on a mass scale. Understanding this is crucial. High value data in isolation isn't much of a risk, but when it's used with AI, it instantly morphs into something very, very sensitive. Think of it like plutonium. On its own, it's just an element, but combined with specific technology, it becomes a nuclear bomb. That's what level three data is to AI. A breach of personalized AI data is not a matter of if, but when. There's been a 68% increase in corporate data breaches since 2020, setting a new record. Personalized AI won't be widely adopted unless private data processing exists. So what's Nillian's solution to the data wars? Blind computation. We'll get to that next, but first, let's see if you truly understand the importance of the data war. Click through to the next slide and answer my questions in your own words.